out there YouTubers. This is Cheese Slice 11 coming through with another video. Today uh, I was want to talk about um, Amari Stoudemire. Amari Stoudemire, he just, uh, I just saw like, a, like an hour or two, something like that ago, that he signed with the Dallas Mavericks. Uh, if you didn't know, Stoudemire was released from the Knicks about two days ago, two when you're seeing this video probably three days ago. Um, Stoudemire, um, it was kind of weird. I, well, I guess I understand the reason why the Knicks um, released Stoudemire. Because, I mean, they were paying him bukus of money. And ever since he's was you know been injured, he hasn't been able to play as many minutes. Like, I think he only plays um, 24 minutes a game. And he um, he gets like 12 points and gets like seven boards, which is pretty. That's pretty optimum for that amount of time that he plays. And so uh, he, but um, I'm gonna kind of be. I'm a little biased because Star Amari Stoudemire is like my favorite NBA player. Like, like I grew up with like the Suns, like a Phoenix Phoenix Suns. I'm a Phoenix Suns fan. I'm still at home today. And um, so I'm a little biased. So I've always liked Stoudemire. He's a great player. Um, he's just, this injuries, he hasn't been able to, a lot of people, you know, he hasn't been able to bounce back from his injury. A lot of people, you know, it takes time. But I think he, at this point of his career, he's kind of, this. I believe this is his 13th season, I want to say. So he's been in the league for some time. He's got some, got some years on him. So, um, I can understand. He signed, a, when he went to the Knicks, he signed a, a big contract. I think it was worth um it was five years in twenty twenty ten. It was worth like right at a hundred million dollars. I think it was like ninety nine point seven was what it was worth. Um uh, yeah, that was it was worth about that much. So they had Amari for the long haul. Like this was like I think his um his second to last season on it. So next year the Mavericks would have been I mean, not the Mavericks. Oh, excuse me. The the Knicks would have been paying them. So they released them. I guess they were, you know, it really, they didn't, you know, you know, Stoudemire wasn't producing like like they wanted him to. So um, so there's there was talk between different teams wanting to get him um, with, you know, since he was a free agent, he could go anywhere he wanted to. And um, four runners for it were the Thunder, um, they were looking towards him. I think the Clippers were also looking at him. Phoenix, his old team, was looking at him. And the Mavericks, last time I had to mention the Mavericks, um, come today, they signed, the Mavericks signed um, Amari to tonight. They signed him for a veteran's minimum of $460,000. I believe that is to um four hundred sixty thousand dollars for just the tenor of this this year. Um I guess they're gonna, you know, see how, how it works. They they could have signed him on Monday, um or you know, Monday or Tuesday when he was released. But if they had done so, they would have committed to um paying uh his additional I, I think this last country was going to get like 22 or 23 mil for next year. So uh, that's that money New York will have to pay him because like in basketball, like you get a contract is it's almost guaranteed. It's like guaranteed, like it's guaranteed money. Like so the Knicks will have to be paying that out of their, their salary, um, although they didn't keep him on the team. Uh, how do I, I how do I feel about him joining the Mavericks? I think it's a good look. I, I mean, honestly, because with uh, he wouldn't he wouldn't be starting um, if he plays twenty four minutes. I mean, that's good because they got um, really and truly. Um, I think their lineup to start the game they have Rondo, um, Rondo, uh, Monte, uh, Monte Ellis, Chandler Parsons, Dirk. And then Tyson Chandler. That's like that's like the five. They had they lost um Brandon Knight uh when they you know, traded not Brandon Knight. Oh my goodness, not Brandon Knight. 
But I can't think of his name right. Brandon, Brandon Wright, not Knight. Brandon Wright. When they traded for for Rondo, so they were losing. They lost that um, that big that big guy, you know, to come off the bench. So I think Amari Sarmar will fit well. It, I I really really do feel that he'll fit well um, coming off the bench. Gets 20, 24 minutes. I think he'll be a guy that'll get you 10, 10 and five every night coming off the bench. Like I think Amari at this point in his career, I think he can do it. And um, I think he'll develop some good chemistry with Rondo. I mean, that's that's a solid that's a solid point guard. And um, and I um, I think I think it's gonna be I think it's really gonna be a good look for him. And um, I just wanted to throw this um video just you know telling about the um about the um the Mavericks acquiring Amari Stoudemire. And um, if you like this video, give it a like. Um, if if you want to comment about it, please do in the comment section below and subscribe to my channel. And uh, if you like more videos like this, and um, thank you for watching. And um, uh, excuse me for all of I couldn't think. I just kind of stuttered, but thank you so much for watching. And you all have a great one.